Oh my god, I can't believe you're recording an unboxing video. It's just a video of you unboxing a photo or a camera. Or a, why would you unbox a photo or a camera without actually talking about how it... Because some people want to see what's in the box. This is an unboxing video of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Pro because it has ND filters. It also has drum roll, a flip out screen, kind of ish, not articulating, slightly flippy, but here it is. We're gonna take a look inside the box in this video. I'll be shooting some stuff on it and hopefully posting it to this channel. I'll mainly be using it for work stuff, but having said that, I figured some of you might wanna know what's in the box. See it alongside the battery grip and the EVF as well. What's more, I have a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which I have shooting something else on at the moment. But once this is out, I'll pull both out for a size comparison. Let's take a look inside the box though, because after all, much to many people's dismay, this is an unboxing video. Uh, so you've got some welcome information. With this uh, camera, you also get a free license to DaVinci Resolve, um, which is awesome. So you will be able to grade your footage, edit your footage with ease. In the box, you also get Ta -da! all the plugs. So wherever you live, you'll probably get the same box and it will be travel friendly, which is very, 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 very cool. Well done, Blackmagic. There's also an adapter and as someone who's coming from the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K this looks to be the same power adapter so it has the safety lock mechanism as well so it shouldn't flip out on you. There's a battery in the box and unlike uh, the old Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras this time around it's using a Sony battery instead of the Canon LP E6 which is sweet so you should get extra power out of it um, although we do know that there's a greater power draw for the 6K Pro as well. So you've got the strap two in the box and some polystyrene. Let's lift the lid on that. Oof. We have the body of the camera and it is a beefcake. Whoever thought to name these cameras Pocket, I mean, yeah, this is even beefier than the 6K if I remember correctly, zoinks, much, much bigger and heavier than the 4K. But you've got a lot of extra stuff going in, on in there, the ND filter, also the EV thing which screw and take out and then you can clip on. And there's ugh, flippy outy stuff. Take away some plastic. I'm gonna give you a tour of this thing in a second, but just proving there's nothing left in the box clearing some space behind so autofocus has less to contend with. Right, now that's looking a little bit tidier, let's take a look at the Pocket 6K. From the front, beefcake, yes, but behind here, you've got a Super 35 uh, uh, clip millimeter sensor. So Super 35, not quite full frame by any means, but definitely bigger than the Micro Four Thirds as found on the uh, Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Um, so you've got the flip out screen, like I said, it's protected out of the box with a little piece of plastic. Now, what's also cool about it is all of the reports of people who've used it said it is brighter, brighter than the paltry few hundred nits of the last generation 4K at least. Um, as far as all the slots goes, they're all exactly the same except for one. You've got two XLRs out, so everything should sound that bit more easy to make sound multiple sources good. You get what I mean. Full-size HDMI still, so it's retained that and You've got a mic in and a headphone out. In addition, USB-C for power and also so that you can uh, output to an SSD. Um, and right hand side is where you have the card slot and it takes SD cards or CFast cards as well. If you wanna use CFast cards, which you probably will save up the big bucks um, and you will need CFast cards for recording at absolute maximum raw. But having said that, if you're just planning on shooting in full HD, 4K, why are you getting this camera? Um, no, seriously, you will be able to get away with shooting on the SD card for some things and it will still look good because the hardware here is solid. No, really. 
it's solid. I mean, it is solid, but it's not like weatherproof or like anything like that. Um, so I wouldn't dunk it, especially with the exposed fans at the top uh, or use it out and about without much protection. Time to unbox the other bits. Camera Pro EVF. So uh, the EVF, and also let's take a moment to enjoy this. Pocket Cinema Camera Pro EVF. Does that mean we'll be getting a lower cost Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K Pro with EVF and ND filters, micro four thirds lens? Also, naturally that could be handy for anyone who has a, a micro four thirds lens collection and doesn't have a Canon lens collection um, as the 6K uses Canon EF lenses. Um, so we have the viewfinder here, nice and compact-ish. Um, tiltable, is it tiltable? It's tiltable, as you can see, and you can screw it on to the top there. That's a pretty firm screw, so I'm not gonna try and do that live, live-ish on camera, but it's there for your reference, and it draws power from the device itself. Now, taking a look in the box, there's more stuff. There's another viewfinder with a bigger eyepiece, in case you like bigger eyepieces, and another one with what appears to be a smaller eyepiece, unless they're both one in the same. Let's get it out of the plastic. That way we can try and gauge exactly what they are. Yeah, smaller eyepiece and bigger eyepiece and middle bear eyepiece. So that's exciting. Anyway, enough of that. Time to look at the battery grip. So we can, whoa, 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 which way is up? Take a look around the box actually quickly. You can see some diagrams. I didn't really give a box tour of the e electronic viewfinder. So I should probably do that as well. You can see it's a box, which would have answered my question about the eyepieces. Anyway, on to the battery grip. Uh, you've got instructions, visual instructions. Um, now, if you don't have any Sony batteries, then I'm guessing you're not gonna get a bunch in the box um, unless you are, which would be really cool. I haven't checked yet, which I should have done before unboxing this. Feels relatively weighty, so unscrew, yank it out. No, no batteries in the device when you buy it very unsurprisingly but but this means you can shoot for maybe a day depending on how much it's on and shooting as opposed to like not even an hour with a pocket cinema camera on a single charge you'd get under 40 minutes um, and so that's really cool between the new sony batteries and the new battery grip optional nyeh, nyeh, you'll be able to get shooting for longer without having too faff, but what you're also gonna be getting is a chunky, chunky unit. Having said that, if you do like chunky units, then the value on this thing is exceptional. Between the like mechanical ND filter, um, the quality that we already know this thing can shoot with, um, and the fact that it shoots the most kind of stunning editable footage um, that you are gonna expect from anything in the price range, aside from the 6K itself, which obviously is a bit cheaper. You are gonna be happy as with this. Taking you around this device, I'm gonna quickly grab my 4K now, Ugh, unplug it from everything because I use it as an everything camera at the moment. In lockdown, it is my webcam. It is also, ugh, I'm screwing it. Um, what I use for B-roll, um, I pair it with what I'm shooting on now, which is a Canon EOS R5, R6. So, wipe it off, it's a little dusty. Um, side by side though, you can really, really clearly see these are two chunky devices. Nothing is pocketable about either, but the 6K is significantly chunkier. I've got a lens on the 4K and it is <laughs> almost the same thickness with that lens. Right hand side, the 4K has got the same slots. Left hand side, same ports as well, except for obviously that additional uh, um, XLR, mini XLR, um, and no flip out screen 
on the 4K. But at the base, you've got the same. Oh no, yeah, that's the one. You've got two uh, tripod threads at the base um, and one at the top. And you've got one at the top of the 4K as well. And that, my friends, is my unboxing video, giving you a very, very messy tour of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, the battery grip, the electronic viewfinder. In addition, I have side-by-sided it with the 6K, 4K. I'm gonna be doing a lot of shooting on this now. I'm gonna try and grab some reviews of other bits for other people I'm doing work with. But if you have any questions, please fire them in the comments section below and I will answer. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.